Hey Aries, welcome to Scarlet Phoenix Tarot, or welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much if you are. I appreciate you guys so much that come back every month, all my returning viewers and subscribers. Patreon supporters, you're amazing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. If you're new, I also appreciate you. I'm glad you found the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope that the reading resonates with you. If it doesn't, be sure to check out your other placements before... Uh, Heading out, because <laughs> you might find something there in your moon and it's a rising sign. <clears throat> if it does resonate with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up and the leave me a comment, because I do choose from the comments of the most liked video every month, someone to give away a free private reading to, okay? I let spirit choose with the pendulum who to give away a free private reading to. All right, so definitely do that. If you want to book a private reading with me, you can find my email address in the description box below the video. You can also find there the link to my Patreon page where you'll be able to find an extended reading for this reading, as well as any of the other Zodiacs. And you can actually get access to all that for just $3.33. All right, the reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with everybody. Uh, keep in mind, I am reading for November, but time is an illusion, really, and there's no time in the spirit realm. So it could have already played out, be playing out now, or play out any time in the future, really. Uh, there's no gender here. Kings can be queens and queens can be kings because we all have a balance or we all have a mixture of both. <clears throat> and I am focusing on love, but if this resonates with you on a different relational level, a platonic one, then uh, certainly remove the romantic connotations and apply it to your situation, okay? But I am looking into what's going on with Aries and their love interest for the month of November 2020 or whenever they're watching, like 30 days out, whatever. For Aries, what's happening with Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and or Venus in Aries for November 2020. Lady V spread, please, spirit. Now, you guys might be feeling a big surge of energy right now with Mars just having gone direct yesterday in your sign. <clears throat> and you have Venus in Libra right across. And Aries pulls energy from Libra, and Libra pulls energy from Aries. So you have Mars and Venus affecting you right now and uh venus is in libra squaring that stellium in capricorn and actually mars is in aries st squaring that stellium in capricorn so these energies could be quite heavy volatile even all right so just try to keep your cool aries i know that's not the best the easiest thing for you guys but you can do it you can do it all right you gotta very much keep your uh temper in check right now with mars having just gone direct and the scorpio new moon tonight <laughs> All right, so what's going on with Aries in love, with their love interest spirit? Lady be spread, please. Aries, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus, November 2020. Now, I did want to mention <clears throat> to you, Aries, while I was brief shuffling before I started recording, hold on, overall energy of the connection, including universal energies, please, spirit, at the bottom of the deck here. All right, so while I was pre-shuffling, I will tell you what came out. I literally split the deck to Death and the Judgment card. Those are both Scorpionic energies, transformation all the way. And then the Two of Cups made sure to make itself known. So I feel like you're going to have a transformation in love. Okay, this, the Scorpio New Moon is tonight, November 14th, going into November 15th, if you're here in America anyway. And um, Mars is the original uh, ruler of Scorpio. And Mars is your ruler. Uh, well, at least he's either the ruler of your sun sign if you're Aries sun or your chart ruler if you're Aries rising. If you're moon or Venus, he's still very important to you. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> he's the original ruler of uh, Scorpio where that new moon is happening. And um, so you guys could be having a transformation in love. Plus we have Venus there in your seventh house if you're in Aries rising. All right, so let's go ahead and See what's going on here. Spirit, are the top eight cards the correct cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for November 2020? Is this card at the bottom of the deck the overall energy of the connection? Wow. The High Priestess. Yeah, you are um, being divinely guided right now. The universe is very much involved in this connection between you and this person with the High Priestess here and the overall energies. Um, you guys are both going on intuition right now, okay? Trying to figure out what's going on with your intuitive abilities. Uh, there might be quiet, very, you know, you might not be talking to this person right now. Um, <clears throat> something, there's a mystery going on. Let's see how you're feeling about them. Ooh, the Nine of Swords. Aries. That's not good. Upright or reverse, the Nine of Swords. 
Yeah, so you're losing some sleep over this connection, especially if there's no communication. Uh, the four, uh, the nine of swords is that, you know, up at night, you know, just can't sleep. You've got so much anxiety, so much is on your mind. You might even be crying in the middle of the night or just crying. There, This is a depressive energy. I mean, it's anxiety and depression. Not good. Nothing good. Nothing good here. I'm sorry you're going through that, Aries. <clears throat> How are they seeing you? How's that energy uh, coming across to your person? The Ace of Cups. Upright or reverse the Ace of Cups. Mm. So they're seeing that, I mean, they may be wanting to offer you a new beginning or something, but they apparently did something to you that has put you in this Nine of Swords energy. You just don't know what to do. You're very much, you know, in your feels. And even though the swords are not uh, cups, I, I mean, obviously we get anxious about shit that we have feelings about. So uh, the Ace of Cups in reverse, your person doesn't think that you want love with them. They don't think that you want any kind of new beginning. You don't want to renew this. You're not offering your cup to them at all right now. All right, so how are they feeling about that? The Ace of Coins. <clears throat> Upright or reverse the Ace of Coins. Well, they want to offer you something solid and stable. They definitely see the potential in this connection with you, and they want to see it grow. Um, they, they're wanting to offer you something, but they don't think you're open to it. <coughs> Excuse me. In the past, we have the Eight of Coins. Upright or reverse, the Eight of Coins. Something just wasn't working with this connection. There was definitely, I mean, it's going to be different for everybody, but you guys realize something just wasn't working. It just wasn't working out. Okay, that's what I see in the past. It did not work out. <clears throat> for whatever reason, it's going to be different for everybody. That's just the bottom line. All right, so now, um, what is the current energy of this connection? <clears throat> oh. The Two of Cups. Remember, I saw that come out while I was shuffling. Upright or reverse, the Two of Cups. Right now, you guys are in a disharmonious union. You, you're, I don't feel like you're... If you are in union, if you're like married to this person, I don't, you're not really talking very much. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like most of you are just not in communication with this person. And you feel like this person is your Two of Cups. You feel like they're your other half. You love them, but you're not together. And things are all out of whack right now. You're not on the same page but you want to be. That's the two of cups in reverse for me. You're not on the same page, but you both really kind of want to be. You wish you could be like what the other needs or you wish you could be where the other needs you to be or offer what the other one wants you to offer. But it's just not there right now. Could be timing or anything. You're just on different pages <clears throat> or there's an imbalance of some sort in this connection. <clears throat> all right. I'm not feeling unrequited love at all. Okay, um, so what are they most likely to do? The Queen of Wands. Upright or reverse the Queen of Wands. Well, they might come your way, Aries. The Queen of Wands definitely knows what she wants, he or she, and is not afraid to go get it. This person has courage. This person has confidence. This person has mojo, <laughs> all right? And uh, they want to use it to come towards you, all right? This is somebody with a, with a plan, with a goal. Okay, and with a lot of passion for you. All right. <clears throat> so what are you being advised to do in this situation, Aries? Judgment. Judgment. That one came out in that pre-shuffle. This is Scorpio energy. Upright or reverse judgment. So, yeah, I mean, spirits, I think spirits advising you, obviously, to use your best judgment when making decisions in your life in general. But uh, I feel like this is telling you that this is something that you thought was dead that actually might be coming back to life. All right. So that's what judgment is about. You can see the dead rising here. OK, I mean, yes, it is about an important decision and you may still have that to make. OK, but the angels are sounding and saying this isn't over yet. All right. So. The most likely outcome for Aries and their person of interest for November 2020, the Six of Coins. <clears throat> Upright or reverse, the Six of Coins. So that's about balance. Balancing things out, Aries. Okay, so this is, I don't feel that this is somebody giving to two here. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I suppose if you guys, if it resonates, you guys... I don't see it. I just feel the Six of Cups, a lot of people read it as imbalance. I feel it's imbalance in the reverse. In the upright, it can sometimes be giving to two, uh, but I feel like it's usually things are balancing out and there's an equal give and take going forward. That's what I'm getting. 
Okay, so there may have been an imbalance. There was an Im there's an imbalance now, and it may have been in the past, and that's why it did not work out, okay? So I feel like going forward, things will be more balanced. All right, let's see. Let's clarify. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order that they're laid out. Two by two. All right. Two by two. Now, if you know that this person that you're dealing with is not going to come towards you, if maybe you did something and you feel it's uh, your, you know, place to go towards them, then this is the energy they're going to meet you in. Okay, which means that they know their worth and they're not putting up with anything. Okay, they are going to be very strong. Okay, if you if you have somehow done something to get yourself in the doghouse, Aries, this person is not going to back down. You're not going to be able to push them over. You might be able to win them over, but you're not going to be able to push them over. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, <clears throat> clarify. Spirit, please clarify these cards in the order they're laid out. Two by two for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. In the sign of Aries for November 2020 or whenever they're reading. Two by two, please. clarify the overall energy. <clears throat> are the top 16 cards the correct cards to clarify the ones that are already laid out here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus for November 2020? And is are the two cards at the bottom of the deck the overall energy? Upright or reverse the Four of Wands. Upright or reverse the Three of Swords. Oh... Oh, Aries, Three of Swords, that sucks. You guys are in Three of Swords. All right, so I don't feel like it's going to be that way for long, to be honest. For some of you, there could have been a third party. I'm very sorry. I mean, this is this sucks. Um, the Three of Swords is your current overall energy. So both of you are hurting over something in this connection. But it's also an energy. This is a twin flame energy, if that resonates with you, the 1111 thing. We just had the 1111 portal this last Wednesday. So those energies could be affecting you greatly right now. The divine is definitely overseeing everything right now. I just really feel that here, um, <clears throat> overseeing this connection. And like I said, I do feel like... This is upright, so I'm surprised that things are still as stable as they are. You may be going to some sort of party or something, uh, and maybe you're going to run into this person. I don't know where that came from. But, um, yeah, there was. I feel there's a breakup. There was a breakup. But I feel like it may have, I don't know, I'm hearing divinely orchestrated breakup. Okay, for one reason or another, that's what I just got. All right, so <clears throat> what are what is your what are your feelings for this person? The seven of pentacles and oh the nine of swords again. Shit. All right, I'll pray to reverse the seven of pentacles. I'll pray to reverse the nine of swords. <clears throat> Aries. I mean, we know your heart's broken. I think your person is too, but wow. You're you're waiting for something. You're you're like I'm, I don't know, I'm hearing smoke's clearing or something like that, you know, like uh <clears throat> the dust you're waiting for the dust to settle from whatever happened. All right, something happened here. Break right, your heart. All right, and it's put you in this nine of swords energy, you see? I mean, that's just terrible energy. I'm sorry. All right, but whatever it is, you're you're like waiting for the dust to settle. You're waiting maybe even to hear from this person. You're waiting to see what happens. Uh, and you are hella anxious about it in the meantime, okay? Now, because you've invested a lot in this connection, and now things look bleak. So your person sees you as not wanting a new beginning in love, all right? The Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. Upright or reverse the Hierophant. The Ten of Cups. Damn, what did they do to you? 
What did they do to you? Or what did, what did, well, yeah, what did they do to you? I'm going to go with Aries as the one who's oh, the victim here. Not that we need to have a victim. It's not a victim. I mean, anything that happens to us is meant really to teach us and help us grow. So even things that are extremely painful are like universal spankings. Because, you know, you needed to learn something. <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway, yeah, this person, uh, some of you may already be married and they, you may have asked for a divorce. Okay? Um, like, you are not happy right now, Aries, and your person knows it. All right? You're not offering up that cup. You're like, hell no, I don't want to be in any kind of relationship with whatever it is that you're offering at this point. Okay? So whatever they did really put the brakes on whatever was going on with you guys. All right? So now... <clears throat> They want to offer you the pentacle, a new beginning, the wheel of fortune clarifying with the eight of swords, upright or reverse the wheel of fortune, upright or reverse the eight of swords. So I feel like this person knows that you are like a really, like a universal, like a divine gift, like, um, you know, like they know that you guys, there's something faded here. They can tell that this is a divine opportunity, that it was a divine opportunity to be with you. And now it seems to have gone out the window. They're all tied up in their head about it. Like can't even, you know, see the forest for the trees. They don't know what's going on because they, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just, this, there's a, there's a sudden change with this wheel of fortune. There was just a sudden change. They were ready to offer this pentacle to you. And then something happened and they got all caught up in their head maybe. Okay, so something like that, or I just feel like this person is definitely feeling the faded element. They may be praying that you'll offer, they'll, that you'll accept their pentacle, and they're very worried that you won't accept their pentacles. So they're like hoping, wishing, and praying that you will, hoping for some divine guidance and divine blessing here, like luck, looking for some luck, <laughs> you know? Um, but I do feel like they feel that you guys have this meant to be thing, okay? Um, and they're just wondering, you know, not just wondering, they're obsessed obsessively thinking about this opportunity that they seem are seemingly missing out on now because you're not having it whatever it was that they did everybody going through this um let's see the past it just didn't work out the six of swords and y'all had to say see ya the magician upright or reverse the six of swords Upright or reverse the magician. So I do, I just feel like it didn't work out. You guys went your separate rate ways, tried to, you know, move on, whatever, trying to manifest your own happiness. I feel, okay. I feel like you may have had to leave this person. I don't know how long ago it was, but you're like excited. Like this is an energy of um, <clears throat> the magician, like is ready to do something. You're ready to manifest something. Somebody's trying to manifest something big here. Okay. And I feel like just somebody realized that it wasn't working out with this person. And if they want to manifest what they're looking for, maybe the relationship they're looking for, then they're going to have to leave this person. Okay. And sail on and make their departures. Detach, detach. Okay. So that's what went on in the past. The current energy, there's still an imbalance and it's, you're still tied to this person. This is soulmate energy. Okay, <clears throat> the Empress, Taurus energy. We have a new moon in Scorpio tonight, which opposes Taurus. And we had a full moon in Taurus last, uh, two weeks ago. And the Chariot, okay, that's Cancerian energy. And the Empress is also Libra, where Venus is, which is across from you, Aries. Upright or reverse, uh, the Empress. Upright or reverse, the Chariot. Yeah, you guys, I don't feel like you can move on. You're not having any success in uh, manifesting, I don't feel like. Both of you may have left each other to try to manifest something else somewhere else. And I feel like there was no success with that. There's In the connection, there's no growth. And you. I feel like you're just not able to move on. You're just not able to move on from each other. But nothing's growing right now. Okay, it doesn't mean the relationship is dead. But there is definitely a severe imbalance in this connection. And I mean, like I said, I don't feel like many of you are really in... Uh, communication right now, but I don't know that that's necessarily a very long time. For some of you, it could be, but this could have all just played out, you know, but I feel like there's a lot of obstacles here, and you're finding it very difficult to overcome the obstacles in this connection, and finding it very difficult to move on from them. So it's kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't energy I'm getting. I just heard that. All right. <clears throat> um, but you're not. You're not Aries. Okay. Um, what are they most likely to do 
are, you know, what action are they most likely to take towards you or what energy will they receive you in? The King of Cups. And, ooh, the Two of Cups. But remember, oh, I'm sorry. This goes over here. Okay. <laughs> Upright or reverse the King of Cups. Upright or reverse the Two of Cups. I feel like this person wants to come towards you. They're, oh, I mean, well, they definitely want to come towards you. They love you. Oh my gosh, Aries, they love you so much and they want this partnership to be harmonious. They want to be on your page, Aries. Okay, <clears throat> this is beautiful. This is like, the lovers for me is like that divine, like the, the feeling of love and the intense chemistry and the intense attraction and the intense, the intensity of that soul connection. But the two of cups is to me like the choice. Like I choose you, okay? The lovers is like, you didn't really choose each other. Like in this lifetime, you just kind of like, it was like star-crossed lovers. You were like thrown in each other's way and it was like, oh my God, like the world stood still and it was just like so powerful. This is still all that, all that. But more, this is, you know what? I love you. I choose to love you. I choose to commit to you. I choose to, you know, be stable and, and go the long haul with you. I choose to, you know, work on myself for you. I choose for myself and for you. But I choose to try to be the best person I can be for you. I'm, I want to be on the same page and grow together. You know, this is very, very deep emotion that this person has for you and a lot of passion. Okay, so prepare. They are coming your way. Or, you know, like I said, you can reverse these energies anyway. Um, if it's you that you feel like you're the one who's going to be on the end to go towards this person, <clears throat> then that's you. All right. <clears throat> so universe says, this ain't over. Something that was dead, coming back to life. You may have a very important decision to make. The seven of cups would indicate options. And the six of wands, but you will be victorious. Upright or reversed, the Seven of Cups. And the Six of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting, uh, you may need to clear the air with this person. Okay, like, and I'm even seeing air with the clouds, okay? And, like, it's very confusing and unclear with this. This is a very foggy energy, and in the reverse, it's very clear. So it's getting clear, okay? Aries, you need to figure out what you want, okay, and make your decision because you may be confused yourself. You need to figure it out and go after it, okay? So this is also clearing things up with, um, with your person. Maybe you need to clear something up, and that may be the decision that you need to make, and it may be something uncomfortable or whatever, but you got to get over that if that's, you know, the universe is saying, but you don't have to take the universe's advice, of course. You decide you. You do you, all right? But the universe is telling you that this opportunity is still here, and this is coming back from the dead, okay? And that you can be victorious, okay? Hold yourself in high regard, all right? And charge in for the victory. That's what Spirit's saying. You can have the victory here. But then some things I feel need to be cleared up first. All right, so let's see about this outcome. Clarifying for Aries. The Ace of Wands. You got the wand, Aries. The wand. And the Queen of Swords. Hmm. Might be dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, upright or reversed. The wand. And the Queen of Swords. So you might be this Queen of Swords. Aries. Okay, this person, I know we we know they're coming your way with the wand. They want to bring you the wand. Where is it? I saw it up here. The Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. I thought I saw the Ace of Wands out here too. Well, it's here. It's here. The wand is here. All right, so they definitely want that passionate new beginning with you. They want an equal give and take. They want clear communication with you, okay? And I feel like that's all coming. All right, but this is also, I feel you. Okay, this person is coming your way with a passionate new beginning, an offer. Okay, they want to start again. They want to start off balanced and everything. It's interesting. These are both, this is Libra, balance, and this is very balanced. This is like the minor arcana version of justice, really, for me. Okay, so you're going to have a decision to make because Libra, you know, I mean, the queen and king of swords, they're always about making decisions, all right? So I do feel like um, this person better come correct because you're like, yeah, bring it. Let's see what you got, all right? Because <laughs> uh, you better be, have more than just the wand for me. All right, that's what uh, Aries is saying. <laughs> All right, so that was your reading, Aries. I hope it resonated with you. Um, if it did and you want to know more about how they're feeling, what they're going to do, what you can, more advice for you and find out more about your outcome, we have tarot and oracles over on the extended reading. 
on Patreon. So you can find that link below. Otherwise, if this is where we part ways, thank you so much. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful November. Happy Thanksgiving to all of you in the States. And I will check you guys back in December. Thanks. Bye.